I'm going to go over some important safety concepts that you need to know whenever you're using sharp tools. We're going to be demonstrating with the handsaw, but it really applies to all of our tools that we use. First thing we want to do is make sure that we have a strong grip on our tool. We don't want there to be any chance of it slipping out. Next, we want to make sure that we have a nice safety bubble around us so no one else will get harmed whenever we're using these tools. For chainsaws, it's 10 feet. For other hand tools, it's probably going to be more like 4 to 5 feet. Whenever we need to move around in the tree or walk around on the ground, we always want to make sure that our tools are properly sheathed. With the hand saw, it would be in the sheath itself. And with Felco's, it would be in the leather holster that you were given. Other tools might have their own way of storing whenever you're moving around. We want to make sure our tools are sharp. It's actually more dangerous to work with a dull tool than it is a sharp tool. The reason is because with dull tools, we're going to strain harder and push and pull harder and there's more chance of the tool itself derailing and coming in contact with us. Whenever you're cutting limbs, you want to make sure that you have no body parts or ropes or positioning lanyards in the path of your saw. So if I'm cutting a limb that's coming across, I would never want to hold the limb under and cut over like this. I would want to position better and come this way and grab the limb from this side and be able to cut. Oftentimes, knees will get cut too whenever you're cutting a limb, so be careful of your knees as well, not just your arms. Whenever we're using a handsaw, try not to apply too much pressure coming down. Instead, let the sharp tool do the work for you and only pull back. Applying too much pressure increases the chances of you getting cut either after the limb is being cut and it goes through, or if your saw becomes derailed and it comes down at you. And those are just some safety concepts that you need to think about whenever you're using cutting tools.